What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to play Android games on your PC with a controller or gamepad. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. To play Android games on your PC, you can use an Android emulator such as Bluestacks. Bluestacks is a popular choice to play mobile games on your PC as it's optimized for playing mobile games. Click on the first link in the description to get to this page. From here, download the Bluestacks 5 setup installer to your system. This should only take a second to complete and you can follow the install wizard to install the application to your system. After the installation is complete, Bluestacks should open up automatically. When this is done, open your Play Store and ensure you're logged in with your Google account. Search for the game you wish to install and download the game to your Bluestacks emulator. This might take a few minutes to complete, depending on your network connection. While downloading the game, you should take a look at your emulator settings. Click on this gear icon to access these settings. In the Gamepad section, enable the Gamepad detection option. This will allow Bluestacks to recognize and receive input from your controller. Below, Set the gamepad input settings to automatic and set the gamepad vibration option to your personal preference. It may not have any effect depending on the game you're playing. After connecting your controller or gamepad, it will be recognized by Bluestacks and show up as an alternative to your keyboard and mouse. In the Performance tab, you should set these according to your PC's performance. Allocate a high amount of CPU cores if you don't have a lot of other applications running in the background. The same goes for your memory allocation. For users with 4GB or less RAM, set this option to low. Under Performance Mode, make sure to set this option to Balanced. This will reduce the memory and CPU usage if your PC lags or you otherwise encounter low performance. I prefer to enable the High FPS option and set the frame rate of the emulator according to my screen refresh rate. If unsure about your refresh rate, right-click your desktop and select Display Settings. From here, make sure that the correct display is selected. Scroll down and click on Advanced Display. This will allow you to preview your refresh rate and change it if you want. Also, if you troubleshoot performance issues, make sure to enable the FPS Counter option. In your display settings, set the display orientation to landscape or portrait, depending on the game you intend on playing, and choose a fitting resolution to play Android games on your monitor. You can also adjust the size of this window by dragging its corners. When clicking on the keyboard icon on the right side of your window, you can toggle the on-screen controls option on or off, which can show you the default button or keyboard layout for Android games on Bluestacks. These steps and more information will be available in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.